Hello viewers, in this presentation I will be talking about VB.NET and MySQL Server 5.5. The objective of the presentation is login form but this login form will not only ask the user to enter the username at the same time, if it is valid then the associated picture of that user will be automatically displayed in the dialog box itself. Before I proceed, let me tell you that the picture which will be appearing is not stored in the project as an external file rather it is there in the database and for that I have to make use of the concept called long blob. So let me show you there is already one default tuple there in, inside the table table underscore user details and this is the attribute which consists of the picture. So this is a picture that is there in the database and this is the binary format of that. So this particular module will deal with this how to insert an attribute of type blob and extract value from there. So those who order this particular mo module will be able to get know about it. Let me run the project first. So I start the project and initially it prompts me to enter username and this particular picture block is empty since I did not provide any username over here. So let me give the initial record which is there in the database and the moment I bring down my cursor immediately the picture appears instantly. That means the connectivity of the database has already been taken place along with that the validation that this particular username exists in the database has already been accomplished that's the reason the picture is over here. So if I give the valid password then the application will get open. Let me open the application right this is the application that started and I suppose I want to create a new user over here so let me create the user over here. So I am giving the username suppose bill password let me write a short password and uh, name is, uh, is assumed to be Bill Gates and then address let it be USA and uh, I am giving an arbitrary phone number 9831012344. And I'm still selecting the type of user suppose administrator here I'm choosing the picture. So this is the picture which will be stored in the database in the form of a blob and let me save the file and the record gets added in the database and you can see in the form of a grid over here. So let me close the application and I'm going for a sign out. So the moment I sign on the login button uh, form appears once again but again there is no picture over here because it is waiting for my username. So this time when I give the username as Bill and moment I remove my cursor immediately the picture of Bill get appear. If I want to get back to Dennis the same thing I will do it over here the moment I click outside the Dennis uh, picture comes over here. So you can see that it is it is it is very much uh, working on the database connectivity as well. So how it is working that all these things will be known uh, if, if you get through this particular module of piece of code. So again the application starts in. Now I will show you that whatever the validation part suppose if this, in, is, is this, this particular two text box are empty. And if I click the sign in button, nothing appears as a picture over here because that's not a valid. So it prompts me to enter username. Suppose I give an incorrect username which is not in the database. So let me show you the database once again. So this was the initial record which is there and now I will go for the refreshment. So that's the new record which I added and this was the picture which has been inserted, right? So apart from these two records, there is no other username available. So if I prompt to enter an uh, incorrect username, then it will show me that it's a wrong user. What if I give a correct username and incorrect password? So suppose this is a password which is not a valid one. So it will again prompt me and say that's a in that the password is incorrect. So if I give a correct password, then the application instantly allow me to enter and this is what has happens, right? So this shows that the application is very much very much user friendly at the same time it makes use of blob at the same time it has some special features because of which instantly this particular picture is getting loaded in the login form itself. So those who order this particular module from the above email id uh, will be getting hold of this particular piece of code and I will be providing a sufficient training that will make you understand that how this connectivity is working. So in my next presentation I will talk further more about it until then have a nice time.